With the Mortal Kombat 1 pre-order beta coming to a close recently, is what I would say if I wasn't holding off making this video, oh my god. This is the game I'm looking forward to the most this year, and the beta only reinforced that. While I originally stuck to Sub-Zero at first, after playing around the cast, I ended up really enjoying Lee Mei, and ended up sticking with her for the rest of my playtime. To start off somewhere, this game looks incredible. The characters, the backgrounds, and the special effects and moves are gorgeous. One thing that helps the game stand out is its color palette. The colors in this game are really bright and varied, and I think the game flourishes because of it. MKX's colors kinda looked dried out if you know what I mean, and while MK11 definitely looks better than MKX in that regard, it doesn't come near MK1. The game honestly looks stunning, and the brimming colors help the visuals pop out that much more. I was able to pick up the game quickly since I played MK11, and the gameplay was really enjoyable. I ended up playing a lot of matches, I think more than 50 at least? The game felt smooth, and learning then hitting combos on opponents felt really satisfying. Something I want to highlight about MK1 is its quicker pace compared to the previous games. Not only is the gameplay faster, but intro dialogue is used as a loading screen, fatal blows don't feel as long, and while the fatalities are more simplistic, they don't overdo it and are still brutal. Honestly, the roster and visuals alone had me excited for the game. The mix between the characters and this new interpretation of them has me really excited to try them all out. For example, I've never really cared for Reptile, especially his MKX version. But the Banished trailer alone got me hyped for his addition. Only bad thing is that this man Liu Kang is creating the goofiest timeline I've ever seen. Before you even try to say anything, this man turned Baraka's race into an illness! That is insane.